Hi, this is John here from GPS Training. What we're going to do in this short video is look at the different mapping options you get from a Garmin GPS unit. A number of you have been asking what each of the different map sets look like, so it's a quick overview of what they all do. First of all, I'm starting off with a topo active mapping. A number of units, Etrex Touches and Etrex 22 and 32s, and also the 62, um, uh, 62 S's and also the 66 I's come with what's called topo active mapping, and that's what we can see on the screen. It comes from open source mapping. So actually, it's the open source mapping that Garmin have made uh, usable for the outdoor experience. As we can see, we've got shading here on the side of the map. This is actually Cat Bells in the Lake District with Derwent Water away to our right hand side so you can kind of see it shows paths but doesn't show them as bridleways or footpaths it just shows them as paths and tracks on the computer again we've got no contour lines and gives you a nice overview very clean mapping so the key thing about top of active mapping as you zoom in you get more information as you zoom out you get less very different than northern survey mapping where if you zoom in so you get less as you zoom out as you zoom in you get more information going to be in an urban area it will tell us of like cat bells has kind of popped up here as we've zoomed in so very basic clean digital mapping i say it shows the roads it shows the tracks and footpaths but it doesn't show them the footpaths or bridleways because it doesn't have the information that we get from the ordnance survey mapping so that's the topo active mapping from garmin now we just swap the mapping to our ordnance survey mapping that's the 1 to 25,000. I'll just zoom out initially to 1 to 50,000 and see if we can get the 1 to 50,000. Just zoom out a little bit so we can see. So this is the 1 to 50,000 ordnance survey mapping for that same area. So key thing with 1 to 50,000, we've got footpaths and bridleways. So hopefully you can decipher the difference. So here's our bridleways, the long red dotted line. Here's our footpaths, the green, the, the red dotted line here, or the pink dotted line here we get car parking spaces we get the national trails i think the cumbria way that runs through this area here so it shows us national trails and we get a lot more information we get the contours which gives us some height idea as well so this is the one to fifty thousand on survey mapping and this is actually just viewing it on garmin base camp again it will look very very similar when we uh, view that on our GPS units. Now, one to fifty thousand gives us rights of way um, and gives us um, long distance trails and that kind of information. A lot more information than what we're seeing on the topo active mapping. Now, the fine final one is the one to twenty five thousand. Let's just move the detail level. That's the one to twenty five thousand mapping that we're all used to kind of seeing when out walking. Key thing is now, as well as our footpaths and bridleways. So here's our bridleway. Here is our footpath that we can see before, we have the yellow open access areas. The yellow are the open access areas where we have the right to roam. We've also got this area here, right to roam within forest. So that's the areas of open access there. The other key thing is shows us field boundaries. So we've got the field boundaries uh, that are clear here in the fields that are in the lowlands. Um, that, that's, yeah. So we've got field boundaries and open access area. The other thing we get on the 1 to 25,000 mapping, which we don't get on the 1 to 50,000 mapping, is permissive footpaths, orange dotted lines. I'm just looking for one. I suspect I'm not going to come across one because I'm looking for one. But orange dotted lines are permissive footpaths. And that's what we also get on the 1 to 25,000 mapping that we don't get. So here we are, just up here. There's a permissive path. Um, it's actually a permissive cycle route. I think it's a cycle route 71. Um, so therefore, you get the permissive paths and cycle routes that we don't get on the 1 to 50,000. So we're into Christ, Christdale Pike here. So that's 1 to 25,000. If we zoom out, that's 1 to 50,000. That's the same area in the 1 to 50,000. Then if I jump up to my um, Topo active mapping, that's the topo active mapping for that same area. Again, it will want me to just give me let's change the settings a little bit so it shows if I zoom in, I get a little bit more area. You can show it still shows the woodlands, it has some elevation, but it shows it by shading rather than contours. And it has tracks. This originated from satellite imagery. So there you are, that's the topo active mapping. Let me see a topo active mapping one to 25,000, which is what we're all used to seeing, and then the one to 50,000, which is uh, ordnance service. So one to 50,000 is what we're looking at there. So hopefully that little bit of an overview makes you realize the difference between each of the different mapping in the area.